Hey guys, Ray here, welcome to the channel. So today we are at RE Plus, and we are at the EG4 booth with Anthony, right? Yep, yeah. salutations. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thanks for being here, right? Yeah, we got it. a bunch of new products that we want to show off if you weren't able to make it to the booth. Yeah. Um, so if you want to. Yeah, let's go. Walk on over this way. The first of four that we're going to show right now is the um, window unit that we have. This is just like our mini splits, if you're familiar with. They're AC-DC hybrid. They got MC4 connectors on it. Um, not too many of the specs are released yet on this, but just something to come for the DIY guys who want some more AC. So if you don't want a full unit, yep. you can just, and this one is, can you connect solar panels to this yep. as well? Hybrid. Hybrid. MC4 connectors on the back, in, outside, just like the mini split units. Just want one room to be cool yep. with a few panels. Yep. Okay. Yep. A little shed awesome. or, or something that you got. Or an office. Okay. You can go. Awesome. Sweet. On to the next. <laughs> so we'll come here. So you guys would probably be a little more familiar with this look. This is our cash option, loan option as we move towards the big changes in policy. Um, Flexbus 21 and Gridboss are nothing new, but this is the new 16 kilowatt hour battery um, that is beefed up from uh, the 280 amp to the 314 amp hour um, that we were known for, the 14.3. Uh, it's got an LCD monitoring or LED monitoring on the front of uh, SOC. Um, and yeah, it's um, beefy. Okay, so is this the, so if I, is this the same size as the old smaller battery? Pretty much the same Smaller. footprint, yeah. I can't tell if there's anything different. This is actually the same conduit box. Oh, same conduit. So it's, um, yeah, it fits, and you have all this in the front now on the top versus on the sides like you did with the other battery. You had the grills, now okay. everything's on top. So if I have an old battery yeah. and I want to buy the new one, it won't look funny. It'll, it won't look funny. Exactly it's the same, the same conduit size. box. This is just a little so bit larger cells inside. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and so, yeah. And then Flexbus Grid Boss, nothing new here, but this is our hybrid inverter yep. paired with our MID uh, smart panel gateway. I don't know how you really want to describe it. Yep. It can do a lot. Uh, yeah. yeah. So when does this come out? When is yeah. this new battery? Um, you should see it around Q1 2026. Q1 2026. Yeah. And the old batteries are still going to be available. Yes, for the time being, yes. Okay. We're still gonna continue with the 14.3. Obviously always servicing them as well. Okay. So if the new year comes around and you wanna get a new battery, you might have to pay a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You could still save money and get the old batteries. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Still gonna be the cost effective EG4 that you know. Okay, okay. awesome. Great. So, moving on. Um, so for the DIY customers, they may be familiar with the uh, mini split units. So we had a one ton unit and two ton unit, 12,000 and 24,000 BTU. This is a 24,000 BTU model, only difference is multi-zone cooling. So now you got one head here, one head here. These are 12,000 each. You can fit two zones on one compressor, or you got the 9,000 BTU, you can fit three of these on one compressor. So three small rooms, you can cool it down. Two large or medium rooms, you can cool all that down. So this can really take the place of central AC in a lot of scenarios. Still the same AC-DC hybrid functionality that you were used to. So you got MC4 connectors here, dedicated solar panels. Those panels aren't doing anything but powering your AC during the day. Dual pole 15 amp breaker on the main service panel. So when the grid goes down or uh, when the sun goes down, it's gonna be powered by that main service panel. If you've got batteries on it, it'll be powered by batteries. If you got the grid on it, it'll be powered by the grid. Seamlessly. So, but what if I just have a bunch of solar panels in my backyard sitting on the yard? Sure. And no, um, I don't have any hard wires going in for my electrical panel. Can this run just on solar panels? Just on solar panels when the sun goes down, it's down. Okay. Or it can run just on power from my grid. Yeah. You can use it as a normal AC mini split. You can use it as just a DC mini split, or you can use it as both. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Awesome. And then last but not least, uh, Miranda, we're coming over with the with the video. Sorry, sorry. Nova. Our ESS, all-in-one ESS. So you are used to the 48 volt architecture over there. Uh, this is now 100 volt architecture, 150, 159 um, amp hours. Um, so almost half the amps, pretty much half the amps, but double the volts. Smaller wire, more output. So this is 16 kilowatts of AC continuous no matter when. It's not 12 kilowatts from the battery, it's 16 kilowatts at all times. Um, this how big is the battery again? 16 kilowatt, kilowatt hours, hours as well. And it can do 16 kilowatts output. Correct. Just with the battery, no solar. Correct. Uh, yes, off-grid situation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the big thing here is this is our TPO lease offering. So this is going to be domestic content completely. 
right? So this is no longer, we're no longer using our, our um, contract manufacturer Lux Power and these cells are coming from Michigan. Okay. So as January 1 rolls around and, and you lose the ITC for the cash and loan market, it's still gonna remain for the TPO market. So you're still gonna be able to secure the 30% and 40% with domestic content uh, to the installer for that, um, the tax credit with this, with this product. So this is our offering for that. Okay, so this, this product is mainly for installers, not for the DIY community as much. No, this is not a DIY product. This not is, a DIY product. Yeah. No, this is just the new stuff we're doing to pivot in the in the industry and be ready to um, to cater to both TPO and cash. However you want to buy your system, we can get you some. So it's not yeah. going to be as cost effective as the DIY market would appreciate. We'll always service that cash equipment for you guys. So that's the difference. There. Okay. All right. And yeah. So when TPO, that's referring to you know the installers, and TPO stands for third-party ownership. Third-party ownership. Um, it's installs nowhere near yeah. the DIY space. It's yeah. okay. when you get to uh, solar is is sold more than it's bought. You yeah. know, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. So people are just getting sold some deal that saves them money on their bill, yeah. and uh, that's what Washington wanted to prop up. So we pivoted, but we're not going to lose our DIY uh, roots. So this one, too bad they keep the tax credits for installers, yeah. but they took it away from the DIY community. That's just too bad. January uh, 1, th solar is going to get 30% more expensive to yeah. a homeowner that's yeah. buying their system yeah. uh, and owning it. So we are still trying to make our equipment even cheaper to make up for that 30%. It's going to get even more critical that you're buying cost-effective equipment because you're getting no credit. So that's where we're positioning ourselves with the cash equipment to really give them that the lowest cost per kilowatt hour you're going to find. Awesome. Best value. Okay. Great. And what else we got? That's that it? it. Those are the four new products that we're coming out with uh, at RE Plus 2020 new products. All right. Thank you, Anthony, for having us. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough. Mm -hmm. We are going to let uh, these guys get back to their day and their evening. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks for stopping by, Ray. All right. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. So obviously Anthony was not speaking off any script, but I thought he did a really good job summarizing these products and they are not available now, but they should be available maybe one quarter from now or two quarters from now. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Talk to you later.